Hey, I'm Cher. Welcome to Readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. First of all, we're going to do Sagittarius. But before we do, I want to pull a Spirit Junkie card for you by Gabriel Bernstein. Spirit Junkie. There's something I want you to stand in front of the mirror and tell yourself. Let's give him a cut. And we have picked All That I Love Is More Important to Me than all that I fear. So are you being fearful, Sagittarius? All that I love is more important to me than all that I fear. Well, you know what? Let's go to the gummy bear tarot. Let's go to the gummy bear. Let's hope we can turn that fear into fun. Fun fear. <laughs> Sagittarius. Sagittarius, what's going on here? There's something going on there. I can't figure out what it is. Okay. All right, let's carry on. Sagittarius. Sag. Give him a break. Sagittarius. Let's go. Let's get her on and let's get her done. Sagittarius, you're reading. King of Swords, Seven of Swords, thinking, 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 thinking. Thinking about the Seven of Swords, deception, thinking about deception. What has happened? Now, Sagittarius, if you're in a relationship's possibility that you're thinking about bowing out, a possibility that you're feeling guilty about it or feeling that you're deceiving someone or you know I really want to go but I feel like I'm being a bad person for doing it or this could be thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking about someone who has deceived you but let's carry on and find out Well, we got the Tower, and we got the Knight of Swords, and we have the Page of Swords. Holy crap. So we got the Bastardo coming in here. You know what? I don't know what happened here, but it's obvious that there's a hell of a lot of stuff going on up in the head. I'm in the Tower, Knight of Swords rushing in. Thought, air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, air energy, thinking and thinking with the tower, we got an Aries, just constant, non-stop, verbal diarrhea in the head, with the bastardo coming out, I don't know what happened here, but let's see if we can find out what's going on. Bastardo saying that you took a leap when you knew you shouldn't have. I got the fool and I got the five of pentacles. Took a leap when you knew you shouldn't have. You should have walked away. Now you can't argue with the Bastardo because the Bastardo tells it the way it is. Either upside down, right side up, inside out. Doesn't matter. The Bastardo is a Bastardo and they speak with such, um, well, volume and with such outright bluntness. 
For those of you who don't know who the Bastardo is, it is a deceptive messenger. Someone that can come to you smiling and laughing and pass you your eviction notice or pass you a court summons. Smiling and laughing the whole time. Very, very deceptive. You never quite know what they're going to say, but they usually have bad news. Now the thing is, the Bastardo's here saying, with the Fool, you took a leap. But with the Five of Pentacles, you should have left it out in the cold. With the Two of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. <laughs> oh my God, did you ever take a leap? You were standing at the crossroads, Sedge. You're standing at the crossroads. You had a decision. Which way? I got a feeling that you picked someone that you should have just ran away from. Could be someone who's much different than you, but it doesn't really show that here. The spirit speaks. The two of wands, you were standing at the crossroad with the four of wands and the nine of cups. You had a great love here for this person. You actually thought, you know, that maybe we can move in together. The marriage card can be marriage, but it can also be just two people bonding together by moving in with each other. This was your Nine of Cups. This was your wish fulfillment, or so you thought. Now in the tower. Now with a lot of friggin' thinking diarrhea up in the head. The mind non-stop. Nine of Cups and Three of Wands. I want you to really think about this. With the Knight of Cups coming in, this is someone coming with their heart on their sleeve. With the Three of Wands coming in, you're going to feel, well, you know what? Let's stop the bullshit. Let's bring it in. All right, let's get her on and let's freaking get her done. So we got someone coming back. There's no doubt about it in my mind that there's somebody coming back, Sag, but... You're going to feel with the Three of Wands that this is your ship. You're going to feel, I knew it. I knew they'd come back. I knew they loved me. I knew they were, they were my, my ship with Sagittarius written on the side of it. This is not your ship. But you're going to feel that way because you've got the Four of Wands and the Nine of Cups feeling towards them. So you're going to feel that because they return... If this is your three of wands, this is the ship that you've been waiting for and it didn't work, but now they're coming back and now it's going to work and it's going to be good and it's going to be great. Well, let's find out. As the tarot turns, let's find out. Judgment and death. Followed by the seven of cups options okay so what I'm getting is someone here has options also what I'm getting is that spirit was right it is someone from the past it died and it wants to renew but the problem is is that someone has options so they can stay with you or they can go they probably might have another on the side I don't see it right now but like I said I don't read cards, I read spirit. This person has options to come and go. The Eight of Wands, here it comes, and the Knight of Wands. The communication, the knock on the door, and with the Knight of Wands, sensual. Sensual and through the sensual It makes you feel That this is the one That they're willing to share themselves with me that we have a good time in the boudoir That we're passionate and caring before and after the act of sensual 
love. But what I'm picking up here is lust. But not for you. What I'm seeing is that you're looking at this person as marriage material. What I'm picking up is lust. Because the person has options. So the death of something has rebirthed. And the rebirth is more or less the same thing. Three of Pentacles and the star coming out here. And temperance. As someone that stays on course. The Three of Pentacles coming out. There is, you know... I would call this marriage, but not with these cards. There's only one that's marriage-minded, and I believe it's you. If it was the other, they'd be there. But with the marriage card coming out, the Three of Pentacles, it normally means a three. Options. Great possibility that they stay on course... The King of Pentacles coming out. They stay on course because of some sort of money security. Okay, I've read this before. King of Cups coming out here. All right, let's keep going. The Ten of Cups, house and home. House, home. Hold on. The Five of Swords, ego. All right. Let's bring it in. Yes, they're coming back. Yes, they have options. The thing is, what I'm picking up is their options is something about house, home, something about security, money. Something about, you know, truthfully, when I got King Neptune himself coming out here, the king of love. I got this as somebody that has love for you, but also has love for possession. Wherever they go, Sag, is home. Is home is um, not so much healing, because I feel the healing is with you. But it's home, it's security, it's my stuff, it's probably a house, a car, kids, everything else. It's probably the security of family. But I do feel the love for you. But with the star coming out with temperance, this is someone who will stay on course. Stay on course with this behavior over and over and over and over and over again. Coming to you because they love you, but having to return to someone else because that's where the nest is. Because that's where everything else is. Everything but love. The love is with you. Because I see, as soon as the Eight of Wands comes out, so does the Knight of Passion. So the communication is hot. It's, it's passionate. When they show up, there's passion. There's the boudoir. There's laying there and, and, and probably telling each other stories about each other's lives like God almighty I gotta go home to that woman or my God I gotta go home to that man you know if, if I didn't have a house and everything and it, and everything that I worked so damn hard for and my kids and everything there I would leave and come to you but I can't because everything is there except for the love so this is what I have for you Sagittarius and when I have the Five of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles, I got to call it. That even though this person with this ego, I come to you, Sag, for the love and for the warmth and the healing that I need. But I go there because all my shit is over there. This ego, and it is ego, or else they would let go and, and come to you. But it is ego, but because of this ego, Sag waits. With the Seven of Pentacles coming out here, Sag waits. So you sit there and you wait for the next visit. 
and then there's the going back, and then they come back, and there's the, the waiting for the next time, and the waiting for the next time, and the waiting for the next time. It's a vicious cycle over and over and over, and I can understand why you go in the tower, and why there is this constant, constant thought. The devil. But the devil I feel here is material. Is material worship. Is material need. Uh, I, you know, I work so hard for everything that I have over there. I can't. I can't leave because I work too hard for everything I have over there. Now, why do I say over there? Because I feel that there may be some a great distance between you, some sort of a uh, maybe an ocean. I don't know. Maybe it's a traveling salesman or a saleswoman. But this is what I have for you, Sedge. So we have Capricorn. We have Pisces. Virgo. Aquarius. All signs are on the board. A lot of sword activity. We have Taurus, we have Scorpio, Aries, Aries is here twice, have a lot um, with the King of Swords, we get Gemini, and we have a lot, a lot of swords, a lot of air energy going on here, a lot of thought, Well, gummy beer, I thought you were going to give me a good reading, but um, obviously you just more or less told me what the card was saying here. All that I love is more important to me than all that I fear. Sedge, thanks for joining me today. Namaste.